What is up you guys? This is LEGO Superheroes today, coming at you with a review of set 75208, Yoda's Hut. This set is for ages 7 to 12 years old, includes 229 pieces, and retails for $29.99 in the United States. Now, this is the first time we've gotten any iteration of Yoda's Hut in a long time. We got one years and years and years ago from LEGO, but it's really cool to see an updated version with new figures and new play features. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at the set. So as we always do here on LEGO Super Heroes today, let's start off by taking a look at the minifigures. First up, we've got Episode 5 Yoda. Now this figure is absolutely awesome. He's got kind of like a rubbery head. You can see that his ears bend in a little bit there. Um, but the look and the aesthetic is just so cool. He's got a short brown pole for a walking cane. And then the torso is new. His, um, his jacket looks a little bit more fleeced and rugged. And he's got that little thing that he wears around his neck too. So it's very accurate to the original trilogy. On the back here, it's kind of frumpy on the back, and I love the hair detail that they put on the back with Yoda's uh, receding hairline. Pretty darn awesome. So Yoda is a 10 out of 10 figure, if you ask me. Then we've got Luke. Luke is also amazing. He has, this is an entirely new figure too, a darker hair piece than we're used to seeing for Luke. Um, new pants with these like kind of cargo looking pants there. Um, a lightsaber that we always see. And then a uh, torso here that is, you know, kind of like his jumper suit, you know, whatever. It's a nice torso. I definitely see a lot of possibilities to use elements of this character for MOCs and custom, you know, minifigures that you might want to make. So he's kind of got like a determined look on one side, and then on the other side, he's got this concentrated look for like when he's lifting the boxes with his eyes closed and when he uses the force on Dagobah. So that's pretty cool. And then on the back here, as you can see, Luke has a little uh, neck piece that goes on, a clear neck piece that holds on this backpack piece, so you can put Yoda on his back and have Yoda train him on Dagobah. So all in all, that's really cool. So last but not least, we've got R2-D2. And R2 is awesome because you can see that he's muddy. Um, we've never gotten a muddy R2-D2 before like on Dagobah, so that's really cool. No printing on the back body there, but there's printing all around the head. And um, I just love that R2-D2 is dirty and muddy for this set. It fits perfectly. So something I've been really impressed with lately from LEGO Star Wars is how cool their $30 sets have been. Kind of that mid-range, there's just a lot of detail that they've been putting in and the effort is showing. So thumbs up to LEGO on that one. So let's start off up front here. Um, there's a little jumper piece here that you can put Luke on and when you click this, Luke jumps and does a Jedi flip. That's pretty cool. And then you can put Luke up top here, as you can see way back there. I'll pull him up so we can see actually. And you can put this little clip in his hand. It's one of those clear, like, you know, Spider-Man clips that they put his web in. I think that's the first time we saw that piece. But anyways, when you click this, Luke does a jump off. And it's not very heroic in that case, but it's a pretty cool feature that I like. Just something subtle. Um, and then this front piece has a Technic pin that you can pull out. And you can insert it into the back if you want to give the back of Yoda's house, like, a full feel. Um, these side pieces move out as well, so you can give the set a little bit more length instead of width if you want. And then another cool thing is, you know, you can turn Luke's head around so that he's meditating like that. And then if you put his hand up, you can have him float here like he does in the movie when he holds himself upside down. And then this little box is on a clear pole, so it looks like Luke is levitating it with the force. Definitely something really cool there. Now, if we look in the front, that's the entrance to Yoda's hut. They use the, uh, like, windshield pieces that we've seen on the land speeder, but they're totally thick, and they're not transparent. They're, like, the color of tan for Yoda's hut. It matches. I like these rugged details. These ones have sharp edges. These ones have round. So I think that they just did a really nice job of giving Yoda's hut some architecture, like the window here, the smoke coming out of the top. Again, I just love this set. So on the inside, if you take a look in here, there are some really, really cool details. There's a hook piece, as you can see here. Let me brighten that up. There we go. There's a hook piece inside there. Oh, too bright. And it holds this little uh, pot that goes over the fire there, so that's pretty cool. So I'll hook that back in. Uh, there's a little pan here. There's a carrot with a brown top. And then Yoda's bed actually folds up against the wall, which is kind of weird, but kind of cool. Um, makes a little extra room in Yoda's hut. So 
all in all, I like that the hut is kind of like a mixture of episode six and seven. Um, I wish that there was a little bit more interior, because as you guys know from watching my reviews, I always care a lot more about the you know, locations and the buildings than I do vehicles. So when we finally do get buildings like this, I just wish that there was more detail. You know, like this entire side piece here is just kind of wasted. There's nothing to really do with it. So I might've liked it a little bit better if Yoda's hut was like this inner room. And then if this part here was part of, you know, the inner part of Yoda's house too. So I, I can't really complain about this set because I really like it, but I just wish that there was more to the interior. So that brings us to a close on my review of this set. What are my thoughts? Guys, I think this is one of my favorite LEGO Star Wars sets in a long time. For $30, you get three amazing minifigures, you get a brand new Yoda, a brand new Luke, a brand new R2, and just some awesome scenery, and you guys know that I'm a sucker for scenery sets. So, I would highly recommend getting this for $30, it's an amazing set, and I actually see myself getting maybe two or three of these so that I can expand Yoda's hut in an MOC. Maybe I'll do a future video on that someday, who knows. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I absolutely love hearing what your thoughts on these sets are, so please let me know your thoughts on Yoda's Hut in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more LEGO content and LEGO reviews coming in the very near future. This has been an official review by LEGO Superheroes Today, and as always, build on.